All right. So Leah, congrats on your podcast. What is it called? The Wellbeing Room. Yeah, the Wellbeing Room. And now it's available on uh, both Apple Podcasts and, and Google Play. Uh, so um, your question is uh, how to think about the social media aspect of this, basically, right? Like you have a Facebook business page set up for the Wellbeing Room and how much content should, I mean, re, of course you're posting your podcast episodes there, but should you do more than that? So, um, you know, I, 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 think, I think originally I was gonna encourage you to keep it under the same brand, <laughs> but it's okay. You have a different brand and that's okay. It's kind of like what I did with the Soul Gym experiment. I have a Soul Gym Facebook page and you mentioned that. that and it, because I wanted to really keep things separate with my own, with my own brand. And, um, and uh, so that's the reality of it. I keep saying brand because it is two different brands now which means you can, it's like a little, it's, 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 it's a plant. I mean, it's a good way of thinking. It's like how much do you want to nurture the plant and how much you want to put, you know, um, fertilizer and, and, and all this stuff. And yeah, how much care do you want to give to the plant? You want to keep the plant small, you know? And so, uh, you know, of course, if you wanted to, without spending much time, because time is also obviously an issue, uh, especially for you, you have a, you have a, you know, you have, you have other work, you have, if you know, you have a child to care. Anyway, so it's like the least amount of time you could probably spend on it is growing the reach of the podcast, which thankfully with a Facebook page, you can run Facebook ads to grow the reach of the podcast. So I think that's probably the, the smallest amount of time you could spend that has some positive impact on it. Um, but in terms of like, should you create more content? Knowing a face, how a Facebook, well, knowing any social media, I mean, the fact is you create content, but you don't run ads. It's, you know, like not creating content. Well, of course, creating content is, has benefits on its own, but if no one's seeing it, you're not growing the brand. So Leia, I would say run ads of sending, sending people to, to the podcast episodes. I think that would be worth doing. And anything beyond that right now, given the limited time is, is a bonus, it's optional. I don't think it's, most people, by the way, they're not even spending their podcast marketing time well, right? Like, like a lot of people, they, they, they will use social media for their podcast, but they don't know how to run ads. So it's like so few people are seeing it. And, and it's like the podcast barely grows over the years. Whereas if you wanna spend only you know half an hour every two weeks, uh, the most effective thing to do is to run Facebook and Instagram ads to send. Now, uh, the, the part of the half hour is audience testing to make sure you're getting to the right people. But then once you get to the right people, you send people to the podcast episodes and, and you're spending really wise, wise time doing that. So, uh, Leah, anything else you want to say or any other questions about that? Yeah, no, that's some really good suggestions. And it's just made me also think about, yeah, promoting it through my my, the center of key so my yeah. business Facebook yeah. page as well which right. I think I have done a couple of times but then also on my Instagram because uh, I can in the Buzzsprout sure. application I can actually make little 30 second or less right yeah of, right. Little videos. And, right. yeah and use that as a video in Instagram or, or Facebook um, yeah and I still also want to do it onto YouTube as well so I've I'm thinking I might just pause after six episodes and then play around with the different social media and promote the episodes I've created for a few weeks and then record some more. I think that might be a good way to do it. Yeah. Um, one caution about those short little videos or when it comes to reaching cool audiences mm. with videos, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, the, the, the caution is that if the video, if they're scrolling on their newsfeed and the video plays for at least three seconds, even without sound, they've been marked as a warm audience now. So like, that's why I only do videos to my warm audience because I don't want random people just scrolling the newsfeed to be tagged as my warm audience because they might not be. <laughs> Unless I'm really clear that this cool audience is like, oh, this cool audience is really good. I wanna reach as many of them as possible, bring them into my warm audience. And sure, video is very efficient for doing that. So, yeah. Excellent. Thanks, George. Thanks.